What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. If you are new to the channel, my name is Jay Blends. Uh, on this channel, we do uh, vlogs, tutorials, uh, challenges, which is what we are going to be doing today. The other day, I got called out by another barber, fellow barber here in Texas, uh, to do this challenge. I was scrolling through my Instagram, uh, got tagged on a post. I go to check out the video, and this is what I see right here. Here goes out to every YouTube barber that there is in the game right now. I'm challenging you to do this challenge. Now, the challenge is, you know what, let me, let me give you a little backstory. So I be seeing all these barbers on Instagram, on YouTube, you know, they talking they ish, kind of like I'm talking my ish now, right? But they talking they ish saying they the best in the game, they fire with any clippers, you can give them any clipper and they just a monster with it, they just flicking their wrist and flicking the thumb, trying to get the line out and they closing it and opening it and fading and doing down fading and doing all this. And I said, you know what, we're gonna make this challenge a little harder and we're gonna do the detachable blade only challenge. And I know what you're thinking, oh, I can cut hair with detachables, I do that all the time. But when I say detachable blade only challenge, I mean you are literally using these for the whole haircut. The only time you cannot use these detachable blades is when you're using your liner to line them up, possibly make a bald guideline, and using the shaver to shave or the razor to do the line. As you saw in that video, it is a all detachable challenge. Uh, he stated in the YouTube video, I'll link that somewhere down in the description below or up top. Watch that 12 minute video of him doing his detachable challenge. Uh, basically he used a detachable for the whole fade. He did use a razor and a trimmer to do the finishing touches to the haircut as well as add some color enhancement. I'm gonna do as well. So I'm gonna do all the, all the fade with the detachable clipper and then also uh, do the finishing work with the razor and a trimmer. Now, me personally, I've never used detachables in my life, so this is gonna be a bit of a challenge, a bit of a feat, um, but we don't get to it. You know, somebody calls you out, you gotta step to the plate. You know, um, it, I, I don't know how this is gonna go, so we'll find out. Uh, my brother is going to be my, uh, my uh, guinea pig for this challenge so hopefully this haircut comes out good so my clipper of choice for this video is going to be the Oster classic 76ers so um they already got the triple i'm sorry not the triple the uh the five zero on there which is equivalent to like a trimmer a basic trimmer so that's what we're going to be starting off with gonna be doing a bald fade two on the top we're just going to see how this goes so stay tuned i'll probably just give you guys a little voiceover over a time lapse of the video of the haircut but uh appreciate everybody for clicking on this video um let's get to the haircut so here we go got the oster 76ers number two guard all right go ahead and start this challenge Yep, you can tell those sound super powerful. Hopefully I'll take an ear off. It <laughs> sounds like something's about to take off. But shout out to my partner, Carlos, uh, for letting me use his clippers. I don't own a pair of detachable clippers, so he's the one that's letting me use these for this, uh, this challenge, but let's get to the haircut. Let's see what they cut us with in basic training. What's good everybody so you can see right here we got the number two guard on the top like i just showed y'all and i'm just going to run through this haircut not going to be too much of a tutorial but i'm just going to go ahead and describe to y'all what i'm doing i'm going all the way around with the two guard and i was very very cautious about uh how i was going about cutting my my brother up here um i've never used the osters like this before and so I'm not too sure how they they work or how close I could get to the skin so I was kind of just gliding over his head uh, keeping most of the weight on the the button of the the blade um, and then right here I'm just making sure that we go against the grain with that number two guard or alongside the ridge and um, just making sure we go against the grain all across the head so we could have an even two guard 
all the way around. And uh, my plan of attack at this point was to start with the two guard on the top and then work my way down to a one and a half on the ridge and basically fade down. Now, uh, videos I've seen with people fading using detachable blades, that was basically what I saw them do. So I was just trying to, you know, imitate that movement, imitate that that technique. Um, but it didn't really work out the way, you know, I really wanted it to because I'm so used to fading up with with my system as far as fading is fading up. So that's what I was trying to do. But I got to that one and a half garden. I wasn't seeing hair blend the way I wanted it to yet. And, you know, there wasn't a, a large result that I could see. So what I had to do is revert to that five zero. And I just started balding out uh, from the sideburn area all the way around the back with the uh, the five zero blade on there. And I was very, very careful with this. Uh, my homeboy, the, the guy who let me borrow his clippers, he was telling me how sharp this five zero is and how you can snag the skin and everything. So I was just trying to find my groove, trying to find my rhythm with this cut. Uh, it, it is very difficult, you know, using something that you've never used, using a tool you've never used uh, and trying to produce, you know, a, a great result. And um, I think, you know, for the most part, I did pretty well. I did notice how hot the blade gets, how hot the housing of the clipper gets. It gets very, very hot. Now, the smaller the guard, the more warm um, the blade seemed to get because that that friction was uh, more uh, noticeable with the smaller blades. Now, when you get up to like the one guard, one and a half guard, uh, two guard, those all seem to not be as hot because the metal is a lot thicker and you know it takes a lot longer for that blade to heat up. But um, you know, after the five zero, we go up to the triple zero and uh, made another guideline. And once I made the guideline for the triple zero, you could still see a line there. So I took that five zero and I just started flicking, you know, just flicking the wrist, trying to get that wrist work in there and uh, get this this uh, this fade nice and blended. Now, after the triple zero, we revert back up to that one guard, <clears throat> not revert. It's actually the first time we're using it. Get to that one guard and throw that on there, make another panel of hair, flick, flick that area out, that line you could see there with the triple zero. And I was just, you know, I'm shooting from the hip on this this challenge. I'm shooting from the hip with these clippers. Uh, the only thing that, you know, I do know is uh, my the shape of my brother's head. You know, I know the contours of his head. And there's a lot of struggle spots I had because I couldn't really dig in with the metal blade into different dips he had uh, towards the corners of his hairline. Um, but we, we got it through, you know, using these. There's a lot of wrist work, a lot of angling the blade um and just you know working the clippers to the best of your advantage now you know i i'm very grateful for being called out for this challenge it really helped me to uh push the envelope a little bit and just figure out a a, a new technique a new clipper you know and i gotta say another thing that was difficult for this challenge was well not so much difficult but you know i'm so used to using cordless tools you know it's it's, it's different to have a cord in your way or have to have to hold a cord out of the way <clears throat> and uh, you know that was that was something different in itself too but um you could see me trying to attack the ridge here and just trying to get it as blended as possible um very very you know dope for tank be chopping to call me out and i truly appreciate that and uh i, I challenge any barber you know try to take this up you know it never hurts to learn a new skill it never hurts to you know learn a new clipper you know by adding new things it always makes the game interesting so um not much you know to the fade to on the top we did ball it out towards the end at, near the bottom i used the uh andis profile shaver and knocked that out but right here is that struggle spot i was talking about that uh dip in my brother's head you know i'm trying to stretch the skin i'm trying to use that clipper to you know the best in my advantage and not digging too much because i don't want to scalp my brother um but shout out to my brother for you know allowing me to do this challenge and uh, taking taking up the challenge to sit in the chair with me using some brand new clippers but as you notice <clears throat> earlier in the video i was talking about um basic training and these were the clippers they used now when i first went to basic training um you're in a line with like 
you know, 60 other people, 59 other people in your flight. Uh, the, the barbershop there, they cut, you know, everybody that's in basic training. So it's three people that cut everybody in basic training. So they got to get you in and out quick. And I remember standing in line, those barbers, you know, weren't playing. You know, they told you, you know, if you got a wart, put your finger on it because these clippers will cut you. And uh, it just basically slapped, I want to say, like a, a half guard on there. Uh, I'm sorry, the the triple zero, I believe. And they just shaved everybody down to a triple zero. Everybody got their, their, their top drop, you know. And uh, that was something different going bald. But, uh... I remember those clippers, the sound of them, it brings back a nostalgic memory from being in that line, being in formation, uh, ready to get my top chopped. But, um, you know, shout out to him, like I said, for sticking it through and allowing me to use him as my guinea pig. I also used him as a guinea pig for my five minute challenge. Um, if you haven't peeped that video, I did a, a fade in five minutes. Um, I didn't quite do the the best job but i'll leave a link up in the corner for y'all to check that out uh, go check out that video and uh i'll also leave uh links for tank be chopping the videos his channel and uh his instagram down in the uh, description box as well but you can see here the the fade is coming together um my brother's hair is is very great at showing how blurry a fade could be but it, it is also great at showing you know how many mistakes you can leave in a haircut so uh, i got to be very tedious with his hair and uh, that's why i was doing so much detail work when cutting his hair with these clippers because I, I wanted to put out the best possible product that i possibly could uh, you know you always want to put your best work out there you know and uh, taking up this challenge you know uh, you have this bit of, of pride as a man and as a barber to you know put out some fire work you know you have that pride to be like you know what I, I i can chop with anything and so you know i took up the challenge and uh i don't think that i'll buy detachable clippers or buy you know uh any bgrcs or osters or oster octanes because i personally don't think that they'll ever be handy for me um, the most that I could see myself using for is uh, to debulk, you know, large areas. But, uh, you know, the, these clippers are pretty pricey. Uh, detachable clippers are pretty pricey. The guard system is pretty pricey. So you're going to be dropping a lot of money if you're trying to get some of these. So, But um, they, they are powerful. They do, they do chop through hair like butter. And, uh, you know, but uh, this is just a, a dope experience, a dope way to experience something new. Um, you know, keep the game fresh, keep the relationship with barbering fresh. But right here, we're just tying up the back of the fade, tying the left side to the right side, and just bridging everything together, making everything flow, and uh, making sure everything is just uh, as blurry as we possibly could get it. Now, my brother's hair in the back here, uh, near the crown area, is a lot more dense than the rest of the hair, so I gotta really pay attention to how, atta how I am attacking this area. And, um, you know, um, I seen some slight imperfections in my fade and areas that I didn't get to detail. But overall, I, I, I was very satisfied with, you know, what I could do with a clipper that I never used before. And uh, that's that's what everything is. That's what life is about is, you know, trying different things out. You know, you may fail. You may mess up. You may may not get the the end product that you want. But that's something that you gotta you, we gotta realize is that failure is not a result. Failure is part of the process. Failure is part of the process of, of us uh, making ourselves better. And uh, just just keep that in mind, you know. Failure is not the end all be all for everything. It uh, failure just you know helps you to tighten up you know certain skill sets. Failure helps you to realize where you could do better. So yeah, it's it's all part of the process. Failure is part of the process. Struggle will always come before success. But uh, right now we're using that um, that profile shaver and we're just balding out uh, the bottom portion of the haircut. Now by flicking you know my wrist and everything, I was able to flick um, the uh, bald line. Um, I'm sorry, I was able to go from bald into that five zero by just flicking my wrist. So. 
um, the only area I did use the trimmer for is going to be the edge up and uh, that's what I'm attacking right now is that front edge up now my brother his uh, his edge up is quite tricky because he is you know receding just a tad bit so it uh, there are some struggle areas over there so I am making an imaginary line where well not so much imaginary when you get closer to the the head you can see the vellus hair that's still there and um, we're just creating a an edge up for my brother and um once we get done edging them up with the trimmers i will go over it with some color enhancement i do use the barber magic pencil in this video as well and uh, all that does is just makes your edge up pop uh, the barber magic pencil is just highlighting your edge up and making a more drastic transition between the uh the hairline and the, and the forehead and that's all that does with that so you can see me in that area i was edging up the c cup and uh, we, I did eventually get rid of the C cups because I didn't like how I I edged it up. So I just raised it up and made that a high fade after we did this because I kind of pushed them back a little bit more than I wanted to. And I realized that. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to just go ahead and, you know, fade these C cups out, which I do do um, here in a second. But, you know, you could see all that that uh, that shadow when you push somebody back. So I, I didn't care to see that. So I was like, no, I, I need to go ahead and fade my brother up just a little bit more. Make this a high fade and uh, get those C cups out of there, which is what I do right now. So I just started flicking away with that 5-0. And then after I went over that with the 5-0, I just went and flicked out with the uh, profile shaver and got that C cup knocked out. So that way, we, all we have to worry about is uh, edging up the vertical bars and the front edge up. So you can see here that, that that blend is icy. That blend is there. Super blurry. And we're going to finish up, finish off this cut with a super crispy edge up. And honestly, in my opinion, the edge up is what ties the whole cut together. The edge up is that that icing on the cake it's the hot fudge on the sundae it is like the, the the best part of the haircut in my opinion but right here i am using the 245 onyx black no drip also got the sean cuts hair color card in there that i'm using uh to make sure i have a barrier for where my color is going to lay and we're just going over it lightly in the light coat because we want this edge up to look as natural as possible and uh, just knocking out this this color enhancement nice and smooth. You want to make sure that everything is flowing together with your haircuts. You want to make sure that, you know, you're just tying everything together and nothing looks out of place. That is the goal is to not have anything look out of place. And everything is just flowing together right now. And now once I uh, get done with that, I go over with a light brown uh, barber magic pencil just to highlight the edge up area. And then the way we blend this uh, magic pencil out is that you can use your trimmer blade and you just kind of just scrape away uh, and blend it with that blade. And as you can see here, it is highlighting that edge up. You can see the large contrast between the hairline and the forehead. And that's that's what we're looking for right there. You can see here I'm using the Slimline GTXs with the 245 power clip and uh, um, I'm getting some new trimmers on the way so I'm thinking about doing a giveaway for these I might I might not just stay tuned but there is the haircut two on the top bald on the bottom bald fade super blurry crispy edge up uh, I, I'm, I'm thoroughly pleased with the job I did honestly like I, I don't mean to toot my own horn but I thought that I was going to, you know, do a lot worse on this challenge. So whenever you do better at, you know, something that you, than you thought you were going to do, you always got to pat yourself on the back for that. Sometimes you're going to be your number one supporter and you got to be okay with that. But there's a haircut. I appreciate everybody for watching. Well, that'll do it for this video i hope everybody enjoyed this uh detachable blade only challenge 
Uh, I myself am probably gonna call three people to take up this challenge. This was not the easiest thing to do. This was my first time using detachable clippers and those 76ers got super hot in my hand. But I wanna say thank you to Tanky Chopper for uh, calling out all those YouTube barbers to get on this challenge. Uh, but I myself, I'm gonna go ahead and call out uh, Sean Cuts Hair. I'm gonna call it the Barber Phil. And I'm gonna go ahead and call out that boy, Concise the Barber. Y'all go check out the channels, leave the links below. I'll leave Tang be chopping uh, his link down below for his Instagram and his YouTube channel. But uh, stay tuned for more content. Like I said, I hope you enjoy this video. If you're not subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn on your post notifications. Give this video a like, helps out the algorithm of the channel, and just shows YouTube that we overall are getting something from this channel. And I uh, hope everybody is, honestly, you know, because that's what I'm doing it for, is just to, you know, get this uh, content out to everybody that, that vibes with it. But other than that, I hope everybody has a blessed day. It is Monday, about to go hoop. And, uh, but until next time, God bless. Can't believe I'm amazing. Y'all can't see me, we getting rich. Manny, we love you.